Hello everyone, if the STEM tool is driving you crazy or it works sometime and sometime it doesn't, then this quick video is worth your time, especially if you are new to Photoshop. I'm going to share some simple but very effective tips on clone STEM in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Number 1. So here I have got this beautiful image of some swan and seagull there. Let's suppose if I have select the stem tool and I wanna erase this seagull from here for some reasons. So if I create a new layer from here and I select the stem tool and I sample this area from here and I start painting on this area and you see nothing is happening because what I'm sampling from the layer there is nothing there if I turn this layer off and you see there's nothing here and you can't see nothing so the sample area is empty so the targeted area is empty and whatever you're painting that would be empty too so here the first problem comes in especially for the beginners they know how to use the stem tool but when they create a new layer the stem tool doesn't work because they take the sample area from the new layer and actually there's nothing on the new layer so the solution lies here you see this option bars on the top if you can't see this bar here you can go to windows and then you can select this option bar from here here we need to select current and below i have seen so many people they get stuck here they say my stamps tool is not working or it works sometime and sometime it doesn't that's the reason why especially when you create a new layer where there's nothing on it so you need to select this option from the options bar which says current and below or our layer bar i recommend current and below should be fine now this is selected our new layer is selected i select the stem tool from there i press alt from the key and i sample the or i define the sample area now if i start painting you see what is happening here now the seagull is getting removed like this let me remove this layer again and let me show you another situation now in this situation what i'm going to do i'm going to select the stem tool from there and i create a new layer again and i i have already selected current and below i sample the area and i start painting on this part but you can see nothing is happening you know what even if i select the brush tool from here and i start painting Let's suppose I get this color here and I reduce the paint size, brush size like here. And if I start painting, you see nothing is happening here. You know why? If I zoom in, you can see, you can see this small dot here. So basically, this small selection area is active. You can't see it because it is very hidden, it is very tiny. You won't be able to notice it if i zoom out you can see the small dot is right here so basically this area is active so whatever you uh, stem tool or brush tool or any other tool you're using outside of this selection area nothing will be done or nothing will be achieved it may seem like my tool is not working or something wrong with my tool or maybe i need to reset my photoshop the problem lies here you can see if you zoom in there's a little active selection on my image so that small area right there is active so just to ensure that little dot is not the scenario in your case if that is the case and if you are not sure if that is the case in your artwork that maybe that is the reason the tool is not working so i suggest go to select and deselect when you press deselect and you select the brush tool and you see start working again press ctrl z again and this time i'm going to select stamp tool from here and new layer current and below alt click sample the area and i start painting you see my tool is working fine so basically if the any selection area is active on the artwork these tools only work in the active selection area. 
sometimes the active selection area is not may not be visible so you may be thinking there is no selection area or or maybe you're thinking there's no selection area so always check or go to select and deselect the sorry the deselect the shortcut is control d or command d for the mac users if you have tried everything i just mentioned and the stem tool is still not working so i suggest go to this small icon here click on it and you see this small setting icon here click on this icon and reset the tool so whatever edits or uh, settings you have performed or you have select the edits by or you have select any option by mistake you don't know about it just simply reset the tool and it will all reset the options and hopefully your tool will start working again and finally let me show you another situation here let's suppose i select the stem tool back again and current and blue a new layer is there and i click and i start painting on this area you see what is happening here so instead of being removing the subject or sampling the area so basically what happening whatever i start painting you can see it is doing something opposite so you see if you apply this tool or any tool in photoshop and you see something is happening which is not supposed to happen there might be a strong chance the these option may be disturbed this blending option if you see something's not going coming right make sure you check these blending options are normal so that's it my friend i hope you have learned something out of this tutorial today and if you have any question feel free to drop the line into the comment section and if you are here on my channel first time please do consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video bye